Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today we're going to talk about over the air TV antennas and I'm going to show you how well this one works as well as how to find out what channels you can get. And then also I'll talk a little bit about um, the next gen of TV coming out which actually will give you 4K resolution uh, over the air for free as well as allow you to interact actually with the TV station. Um, so there's lots of kind of uh, new things coming out that will make over-the-air TV even more attractive than it is today. And again, it's 100% free, so you can buy a antenna like this, hook it up to your TV, and then you can get a lot of the um, major uh, stations like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and then a lot of these uh, stations also have these extra channels on their station that give you a wide range of shows and movie channels that um, you know again I have never paid for cable or satellite in my house I've always used over the air and so this one here is a end top and this is a inside antenna an indoor antenna but then it has an amplifier built into it so this one is designed to really you know go by your living room TV you set this up these antennas do ex extend here you can adjust them, you know, based off uh, what gives you the best signal. It can be a desktop or it can be upright like this, mounted on a wall. Kind of either way, um, whatever gives you the best signal is really what you want to do with that. And it comes with a 16-foot coax cable with a little built inline amplifier that gets plugged in with this little adapter. It has a USB-A port on it, so this could go into your TV if it has a USB port or if it doesn't, they do include a, a little wall adapter. So you can plug this into a uh, you know, similar outlet that your TV is in. And then this is just a coax cable that goes into the back of the TV. Now, the other thing that comes in the box is some screws. So on the back side, they do have attachment points that you can uh, mount this on the wall if you wanted to or needed to. Then it has a little instruction book uh, as well here. and. You know, again, this tells you that this one they advertise as 55 to 65 mile range. I'll show you what stations I get and how far they away they are, and we'll see which ones they pick up. And then, um, you know, this one is that next gen TV capable, which which is ASTC 3.0. The downside is not a lot of TVs today actually have a tuner that supports that. So, for example, my TVs actually don't. You know, they're four or five years old. And really just now in 2022, TVs are starting to roll out uh, ASTC 3.0 um, tuners in them. So, uh, But this is future-proof if you buy it because it, it does support those channels. So let's go in real fast and show you where I look up, what stations I can get, what direction they're at, how far away they are, and what type of antenna do I need to actually get them. All right, you might have noticed behind me a bigger box, and that's actually an outdoor antenna that can go up on a mast. And I actually have another outdoor antenna that I've been using, and I'm going to test this one next. But I want to see how good this indoor one does, and then I'll compare this end top uh, outside one to my current outside one. So let's go to the website real fast, and that is antopusa.com slash signal maps. And in here is where I can put in my address, and then it will show me what stations I can pick up. All right, so here it is, and you can see that it has me right here in the middle for my location, and then it has a colored line to various different stations. And you can see for me, I'm really split. I don't, all my stations are not in one direction. I have a grouping down to my southeast. I have a grouping out to my southwest. And then I have a grouping kind of north, northwest of me. So what this means is, you know, I might not be able to point the antenna at, you know, all of them. Um, you know, you get an omnidirectional one, but um, to get the stronger power, you need to get a directional antenna. So um, I can go through here now and I can look at each one of these and how far the w away they are. I can also scroll down here and it will show me all of my channels that I get, in, starting with my strongest ones. And the thing to note here is there's two channels out there, and one is a RF channel, so that's the, um, you know, the, the channel of the frequency that's actually sent on. But then what you see on your TV 
is the OTA which is over the air channel and what you'll see with this new digital over the air is you get um, lots of channels typically from a single station and from a single RF channel so on your TV I would have 46.1 46.2 46.3 and they're all coming from the same station but they are different channels so um, You'll notice here I have several that are in the green and they're you know within 25 to 33 miles away. So for sure with a 55 mile range I should be able to get those. And then you can keep going down. My next ones are 57 miles away. So now I'm really starting to push the bounds of what they say this antenna can do. And I can keep going here and it shows me all the way down here to um, 80, you know, two miles away that I get. And then they uh, recommend different antennas down here and you can see they don't have actually this exact one um, listed there as as one that they recommend but you know it's an indoor amplified antenna so sort of similar to this um, this far left one here so they're saying up to 35 channels and of course there's an asterisk and it all depends on where you mount this thing you know right now I'm in the basement I know obviously if I put this in the basement I'm not going to get good signal so I do need to go up at least to ground level if not higher to get the best signal so it says 35 channels so we're gonna go test it out now and see how many channels I do get and then of note here this uh, big boy behind me is out here on the right and you can see that it says I can get up to 90 channels so I can basically get all of these channels it says if I use this outdoor one and tune it correctly um, of note is they do um, quote that these are at um, 30 feet high for outside antennas that's what they um, you know basically assume that an outside antenna is so it's not like you just take this one and put it outside of ground level you do have to put it up high all right well let's go up and hook this to a tv and see what it does i'm using this just for demonstration purposes i obviously don't want to keep a, a tv in here but um, this was an easy place for me to kind of demo it for you guys. So here's the antenna. You can see the green light on it. There is an on off switch back here to turn the antenna on and off. And you can see here on the little amplifier, there's also an on off switch that you can uh, turn it off and will make it yellow. And then turn it on and make it green. You know, they say do check it both amplified and unamplified. I would be surprised if you get better signal with it. Uh, unamplified but perhaps if you have a lot of noise or something that makes it worse so I just have it hooked up to the coax there I have it plugged in and now I did cheat and test this out for about 10 or 15 minutes to try to find the best location for it um, at least in that amount of time and what you'll know is because I have three different groupings I can't get all of them um, in one position but let me show you the position I found that was best for at least right in here So about like that, stick it up, I, and then if I turn on my TV here, now each TV is going to be a little bit different probably, but I can go into the settings here, go to channel, and on this one, all of them are going to have auto tuning set. So I go to auto tuning, I click yes, it's connected, and it's going to go through and it's going to search all those over the air channels for how many I can get. Now know that this stuff is DTV, which is digital TV. You'll see on my TV it says ATV, which is analog TV. And then there's um, it'll search for cable and, uh, and satellite as well. Um, at least this TV will. And so I can stop it after it does the, the DTV. But it's going through and going to different RF channels. I remember that one of them was 18 for the RF. Right now it says there's zero found. Now I just found five of them. And it's going to go through and keep collecting as many channels as we can find. So let's wait a few minutes here and see what it gives us. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it because now it's doing the analog. So I'm going to close the auto tuning. It found 30 channels. I'm going here to the channel edit. And on this TV, it will show me what channels I got. And so you can see I got uh, channel 5-1 through 5-5. And then you get 24. 25, 46, 49, 
and 66. And so all of these channels now were on that list. And then I noted that if I actually take this antenna and if I turned it 90 degrees, I would actually lose a couple of these and I would gain some other ones. So by getting 30 channels here, which is very much in line with what they said I could get, but I have 90 or 91 actually available out there, um, supposedly that I could pick up if I had a better antenna. So let's go in here and let's just look at um, some of these so you can see the quality. What you'll notice is um, some of them are higher quality than others and that's up to the station. And this TV at least will show me at the top here if it's standard def, which is this one, as well as what type of sound quality it gets. And again, the ASTC 3.0 can go up to 4K. On NBC, you can see that one is, is high def, and typically I've seen these be like 720p. Some of them sometimes get the 1080, but most of the ones I've seen around here are 720 uh, for the best ones. And so here is a new station for NBC, and again, very clear uh, quality and picture. I have the sound off so that you don't hear it. But then if I go to one of the sub channels, this one is now standard def and it looks lower lower quality resolution, but again, that is up to the station. That has nothing to do with the antenna or the TV itself. Okay, well, hopefully this helped some of you guys out. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Always like and subscribe to the channel, and then stay tuned because I'm going to compare that antenna to the big outside one, and then, you know, right now I do have an existing outside one, so I will compare those two for you as well in case you're interested, but Go ahead and look for the product link down in the video description below and you can see if you want to buy that antenna or another one like it.